This is a question about material behaviours. There are some words, uh, malleable and ductile, just two examples of that in the spec, which you need to know perfect definitions for. And in unit one, don't even show up to the exam without knowing that list. Uh, they're all in italics in the specification of words and have an absolute textbook definition for them because this is really two of the marks are just here for just defining malleable and defining ductile. So. Uh, you can start with that. It is a quack, a quality of written communication mark, so just have a little think, write in full sentences, not bullet points here, or if you write bullet points and put a sentence after them, but try and think, just um, deal with it one step at a time. So let's kind of deconstruct this uh, statement then. First of all, unlike many metals, we're asked just to explain this, unlike many metals, so the first point I'm gonna make is actually seems really simple. Um, but actually the first point is just most metals or many metals um, are both malleable and ductile. You could obviously say the converse, uh, you know, non-metals are uh, not malleable or, or ductile. I don't really think that's um, type of thing you would say in this type of question. And then let's talk about lead itself then. That's the first one. Then let's talk about the lead. Obviously, well, lead is malleable and ductile. But what does that mean? Lead is malleable. which means it can change shape under compression. Uh, you could say easily or um, a small compressive force. And that's the key word there, compressive force. you're not talking about squashing something compressive then you're not talking about malleability and it's a small compressive force mean, meaning you can hammer it into shape uh, is another way of saying that you could say you don't need a large amount of um, stress or or much you just you just get a lot of change quite easily you can, ch you can shape it easily with a hammer um, I'll just say that, that could be plastic behavior you could say rather than chain shape you could say um, you you could say uh, permanent definite definite deformation as well. Okay, the next one would be not ductile or what is ductile? Um, lead is not ductile. Uh, it does not. easily change shape. With tensile forces. So you can't easily draw it into wires, you could say. Um, it does not do well under um, tensile stress, you could say, rather than force. Okay, it will not do plastic behavior in tensile stress. So actually we've got all the marks we could possibly get here. We've got four marks because even though we've only made three statements here, we have talked about what lead is or isn't. And we have defined our two key words. For the compressive for the malleable and the tensile for the ductile. If, even if you've just written malleability means uh, plastic deformation under compressive force, ductility means plastic deformation under tensile forces, then you would have got at least two marks already. But it's only, um, it's actually linking it to the question, explain what that means in terms of lead, it's gonna unlock the other, the other uh, two marks there.